Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get access to the UEFN developer option and it's very simple. So the first thing we're going to do before we get into everything is that you want to go into my Discord server. Now, as you scroll down, you verify, you join it, wait 10 minutes, do whatever you have to do before you can actually get access to the server. What you want to do is that you want to scroll down until you see the Fortnite tutorials category. Now, everyone should see this. If you join the Ovis Community Discord server, you will see this. Now, as I'm recording this, I do not have the files inserted in this channel. But when this video is posted, you will see the UEFN dev post and the bypasses on the Fortnite tutorials category and you will see two files. Now the thing with downloading these two files is that these files will not grant you any viruses to your computer because trust me if they did I wouldn't have it and I would not make a video on them and that's how I was able to make these videos presented into these images and the previous videos that I've made on the channel. So what you want to do is that you want to download the two files that I will have this placed in this channel after you download those two files. Now what you want to do is that you want to go into your Epic Games Launcher, go to Library. Now, warning, this cannot be used on console or mobile. This can only be done on computer or PC because, well, that's the only place where you can have access to UEFN. And what you want to do is you want to go down into you see UEFN. So you'd click on here and then you'd go to manage, go to the file, go to Fortnite game, content, packs. Now what you want to do is that you want to bring those two files that you've downloaded from my Discord server and drag those two in to the packs. Now this does not affect any of the projects that you've made, the settings or nothing. All you will do is that when you enter UEFN, which I'm going to do now, so I'm going to enter UEFN. I'm going to click on the UEFN thing after I've put the files into where you're supposed to go. I'm going to launch UEFN and I'm going to show you what you could do and what's going to happen when you do. So right now I am loading UEFN and this is how it should look. Everything's going to load, everything's going to get downloaded. It's going to be the same procedure that it would be if you didn't have the files in your PC. Now you won't get any warning, you don't have to turn anything off for security wise. Everything is safe. So once you launch UEFN, you should see this screen. Now I've already went over like what you should see with the, the you know the different things on top but I'm also going to be going into different stuff that I haven't showed in a video. Now if you haven't already make sure to subscribe for more glitches like this because season 2 is on the way and I actually may be posting this during season 2 so make sure to subscribe. As you see there's a lot of folders. Uh, there's probably maybe over like 50 of them maybe even more than that. But if you don't if you want to look at certain stuff all you have to do is you can filter it. Now what the filters do is that it only shows what you have displayed. So if I click on blueprint, it will only show me blueprints that I could throw down. That's the only thing it's going to show me. As I scroll down, it will only show me blueprints. As you can tell, blueprints are stuff, it's kind of saved into one. So when I throw stuff down, it will kind of show sometimes one item, two items, three items. It just all depends on what is in the blueprint. You even have stuff like this. Just weird stuff. Look how weird that is. Okay, so we can even throw down like lightning and stuff like that. I don't know. So let's delete all this. All you gotta do is go there, click Control A, and delete all of it. So if you don't want blueprints, all you gotta do is click it on the filter side, click it, and it unfilters it. Now let's just say you want to see the Chapter Five terrain, Season One or Two. All you have to do is go into the filters, to level it, click the levels filter, and type in H E L I L S. Now what this is, is that this is what chapter 5 is called, as you may know. And all you have to do is, this is actually an easier way, you go to the settings, you go to columns, and you filter it by its size. The size is how much stuff is placed inside the level, and the higher the size, the more stuff you'll get. Now it's not always like that, because as you scroll down into the KIB, and you drag stuff, you go all the way down to where it will be displayed, and sometimes you'll get something good, sometimes you'll just get nothing. As you can tell, I got something over there, I'm not sure what that is but we can increase the speed to see what it is where is it at right here and as you can tell it's just some nothing it's just an HLOD so this is really nothing but like I said you're not always going to get something good but there will be a time where you just throw them down you gotta throw them down a little bit as you can tell see look this is like really nothing these kind of like low meshes of everything is the HLOD which is just kind of like the view thing I'm not really sure what that is but it's nothing you really want to look at because it's low mesh and one thing I want to tell you about is the 432, 498 megabytes. I wouldn't throw it down because every time I throw it down, it crashes. And I'm not sure if it depends on your PC kind of things you got going on. But 
every time I throw down it crashes. Alright, so within this UEFN dev thing is that there's actually some stuff that you can bring from the developer thing into the actual UEFN. And I'm going to be showing you the stuff that you can actually bring in from the developer into normal UEFN. So what you want to do is that you want to unfilter everything. If you have something filtered, make sure to unfilter it so you see everything under that thing. And you want to type in Creative Royale. Now what you want to do is that you want to bring, you want to filter it to the blueprint. And you want to scroll all the way down until you see the device. Now these are devices that are used in the Creative Royale scene. So when I bring everything on, which it will have the reboot, the vehicle, the chest, the wildlife, and it will have the floor loop. Now, also, you can spawn the actual map settings thing. I'm not sure where it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually copy every single one of these. I'm going to copy this and then put it in my Discord. And then when I get into UEFN, I'm actually going to place every single one of these. And I'll show you how it's done. Alright, so I finished putting everything from the developer side into the normal UEFN. And this is what I have. So right here we have the reboot van that we copied. Uh, we also have the floor loot, the chest, and then we also have the world's thing. And I'm going to start the game and show you this with gameplay. Alright, so I am in game, and I'm not sure why the game has started, but here is the reboot van. Uh, we can interact with it. And here is the chest that will spawn out whatever loot it gives me. Now, what I want to do is I want to end the game and look at it and customize it for myself. Now, these cannot be accessible through the like device thing right there but we can actually go to it where is it yeah right, look at this so we can also interact with this also so we can bring this we can cuss i don't think you could customize that but i think you can customize this right here can we oh yeah, yeah. so we can customize it we can change the thing that it has so i could i could place like one for each thing and it will spawn whatever i want it to spawn there we go and then also the reboot band we can customize i don't know we can't okay so we can customize the reboot van. It will actually spawn one, which I think is pretty weird, but there we go. So we have that, that, and then as I go over here, we have the map thing. And I'm not sure if this will work, but what I want to do is that I want to make sure that everything is set to the thing. Now I'm not sure if we were able to bring on the Creative Royale island settings. I'm not sure if that's possible, but these are all just custom meshes and stuff like that, so don't worry about that. But we're going to start the game. Let's place a lot of these, and let's see what happens. It, and let's see if it even works. Because it should work. Let's start the game. There we go. Yeah, look at that. So, it works. Look at that. So, it actually spawned custom, like, random loot uh, from the season and from everything else. But, look at that. It looks like the cash registers don't work. Uh, that's kind of expected. Uh, it looks like it doesn't even spawn the right cash registers. But you can have the reboot vans, you can have the chests. Now you may be wondering how is this useful? Well, the only thing that's really useful is the floor loot. You can kind of use that for BRs. But I wouldn't be using stuff that I don't like really know if you can get like if you can get removed or not. But since it's available in Creative Royale, it'll be available in UEFN because everything that is validated in Creative Royale will be useful will be useful in UEFN. Just like this stuff right here. And I think it's actually pretty cool, but uh, there is no such sure thing as everything respawning back or anything. But it's still pretty cool. It's, it's still a pretty cool thing that I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about. Um, but yeah, at least you learned something new today, and you learned how to get the UEFN developer option. Now, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe.